Radhika Raghupathi is a dedicated safety specialist with expertise in creating and implementing effective safety protocols to ensure a secure work environment. Her professional background includes conducting risk assessments, developing safety training programs, and overseeing compliance with safety regulations. She is passionate about promoting a culture of safety and fostering proactive measures to prevent accidents and injuries. Her interests also extend to staying updated on industry standards and leveraging technology to enhance safety practices. Hello, good afternoon, good evening, and good morning in the places where you are from. My name is Radhika. I am a regional EHS uh, specialist. I work with a company called as Grenfos Pumps. This is a multinational company and uh, I handle uh, nearly 21 countries and I'm, I'm responsible for the air health and safety. In this webinar, I'm going to discuss about uh, how and what are the strategies uh, to address uh, gender inequalities through very small changes. Uh, being a woman in tech, I have faced a lot of, uh, say, uh, discrimination or a kind of, you know, bias uh, earlier during my, uh, initially when I started working. And uh, over the time of period, as we start to grow in both the career as well as, you know, understand you mature in the job, I learn to address them. And now, uh, since this particular topic is very close to me, I am a very strong advocate in my company where I work in. Uh, and I've been a part of a lot of uh, diversity and inclusion uh, uh, um, meetings, ERGs, and I'm being a member myself. So let us dive in through what is this gender equality. Let us throw some definition because first we need to understand and be aware of what is a gender inequality and how we can, uh, you know, reduce inequalities and so on. <clears throat> so this is what I would be talking throughout. Uh, I'd be uh, giving an introduction of reducing inequalities. What are the types of inequalities? We'll throw some light on the strategies. What are the global efforts and sustainable goals? And uh, we'll discuss certain case studies and uh, success stories. At the end, we'll talk about uh, calling for an action. Both uh, the people who are hearing this, if you are a manager yourself or you are an individual or if you are an owner of your business what are the actions you can take to reduce these inequalities so as uh, the term says uh, the main aim of redu to reduce inequalities is to strive fairness and be inclusive uh, regardless uh, of the background of an individual and uh, give everybody equal um, opportunity uh, the goal not only is, pay, uh, is based on economic, but even social as well as uh, political dimensions uh, we are focusing on for giving a more equitable society. Uh, now, the question lies, what is the similarity between gender equalities and reduced inequalities? They are both really very uh, closed concept. Um, one, uh, we talk about uh, what, how do we create a fair society, regardless of both uh, gender, race, ethnicity, and socioeconomic status, uh, and the privilege, what an individual uh, and where he or she comes from. And uh, the other is, uh, what are the characteristics which would lead to a discrimination or marginalization? Definition of reducing inequalities. Uh, it means addressing disparities and unfairness uh, in uh, giving access to opportunities, resources among the different group in the same society. This, this uh, inequalities might come from various sources. One mainly I see and I face uh, regularly on my work uh, as well as outside is race, ethnicity and uh, both income and education, they play a very major role. So 
how does this manifest how does an inequality manifest and we'll discuss about the causes so how do they manifest as simple as what i have told earlier um gender um and um, racial discrimination not uh, not giving equal access to education as well as health healthcare so first how do we address this first we need to be aware about the situation so awareness is the first step as an individual they take to address these inequalities there are three types of inequalities they come in economic form social as well as political now talking about the causes what does what is the cause for the inequalities first is the economic policies that favor the wealthy people they get a pass in whatever they do and unequal access to the quality of healthcare which plays a very major role in the rural areas as well as in the urban areas and the quality of education discrimination based on race gender and ethnicity um it is unfortunate uh, to say that i have faced that myself uh, based on the race uh, gender and ethnicity in various other places and geographical disparities this comes mainly from the mindset and the thought process when an individual come from a rural versus an uh, urban uh, area But these are prevalent in uh, our society currently so talking about economic inequality unequal uh, distribution of wealth and one thing which is really striking is that uh, the very limited access for the employment opportunities and the income ga- gaps between a rural and an urban area uh, simply because from a, for a person from where they come from so how do we stop this so this involves this the room was not built in a day the same is the uh, uh, sorry the same thing uh this can be addressed by bringing strong policies which promotes fair wages i'm really happy to see that in many countries uh there are a wage uh, minimum wage set up by the government itself but this is not happening in many developing countries i simply urge uh, these governments uh, to bring a policy where you set up a minimum wage for an individual regardless uh, the work they do and where they come from and uh, progressive uh, taxation and uh, inclusive economic growth so in terms of economic uh, inequalities if the government takes such actions we will be able to address that social in- inequalities uh this comes uh, from a very major topic what as a person who has come from india face uh, when i go abroad in many places these biases happen both knowingly or unknowingly um i have faced it myself so discrimination based on race uh the place where i come from and uh, the gender being in women in tech was not easy for me at the beginning where i am working as an health and safety um, specialist um earlier in my job it, still it is dominated by men and uh, there would be 10 individuals in the meeting where i would be the only women there i would be a scribe for an hazop chairman this is a technical thing which i am trying to say and i was automatically assumed as a secretary uh, for that individual or for the team and i was assigned the task of arranging the meeting and so on so this bias happened to me many times and later on overall in the period as i get matured uh, in my job i had to put my foot down and make uh, people understand that i am a part of a team i am an health and safety engineer myself and i am there to solve their issues and not uh, rather 
to arrange meetings or ensure you know snacks coffee tea are placed on the table and i clearly made sure that that is not my job there i have come there to do a particular study and reduce accidents in that particular factory and so on so and uh, not only um, gender uh, even race as well as unequal treatment uh, based on uh, disability and sexual orientation now currently we are living in a society where people are very much aware about these things and they are taking steps but again we need to uh, take more concrete steps is what i'm trying to say here so how do we do this as a company or as an individual first be aware about the bias and the second take a stand for this and promote social inclusion and diversity and equal rights uh, only when you promote this finally you will be able to reduce the disparities one very good example uh, where a strong example an organization can do is that every organization has a certain goal me as an individual or everybody who is working in a production floor or a shop floor or a sales employee or a service employee will always have a target now to reduce this social inequalities or this bias what do we need to do is that we need to ensure that their for a manager their key performance indicator is tied up to one such activity for example in a in in a sales team if a manager is having 10 individuals reporting to him and he is planning to extend his team one kpi which can be said to the manager is that he need to hire a woman in that particular team so that he balances the gender equality there so this way it makes them to think about it and it is it affects their performance so automatically it will make uh, it will it will happen so these are very very small things which will uh, bring in huge changes we'll go through a case study i am going to talk at the end where small changes how it affected on the whole political inequalities um this arises from you know limited access for political participation and representation and decision making progress based on their gender <clears throat> ethnicity and where do they come from so how do the government can address this you can have the you know strong democratic principles and an inclusive governance structure these are the two keys to address the political inequalities so here comes the strategy um how do we improve uh, the reducing inequalities one is progressive taxation and uh, social welfare program even though we have progressive taxation and social welfare uh, welfare programs what is missing here is creating awareness telling that again and again ensuring that these schemes are reaching to the remotest person in the corner of the world belonging to that particular country or belonging to that a uh, rural area so using um, mediums like uh, everybody has their television as well as radios nowadays and even mobile phones reaches to the end uh, has reached everywhere to the most rural village so how do we ensure that this uh, first prepare an uh, progressive taxation and social welfare program and if there is no communication given at the end is part of the world this will not reach properly and the purpose of having such social welfare program is going to be eliminated there so repeatedly telling that and taking strong actions and making government investing in quality education in the both rural and urban areas and making it accessible for uh, people uh, who are below poverty line the place where i come from india specifically in chennai earlier one particular scheme was introduced uh, during uh, some 40 years ago that free food would be given to the children who attend the public schools so this way what happened is that the parents ensured that was uh, the people who were below poverty line uh, they could not afford this education but it was made free 
and just to get them their children fed properly at least once a day they sent them to school so these are small things which created a huge impact in the society and yes uh, civil society and the business also plays a very major role before me we had a wonderful speaker lia who has done a great thing in in the indonesia she is a women in tech uh, she felt the pain and what did she do she took the next step in identifying okay i had these issues and i uh, had the privilege to work in tech how do i help others so business like these they play a very crucial role in you uh, creating very good mindful strategies in reducing the inequalities i thank her for that so a small food for thought before we end uh, i want you to think about this picture now you can see here there is a prisoner who is uh, locked there there is a key as well as there is a bread why is he choosing for bread i want you to think over this and you know have your thoughts in your mind case studies a very famous group called a startup group uh, what happened is that uh, they were not uh, able to um, after reaching a particular stage there was a stagnation and they were not able to uh, improve in india uh, gender inequality happens is is a long standing challenge and many women after uh, marriage or even after childbirth take a break and they are un un unable to bounce back so this created a huge issue both in the business as well as for women there now what are the in initiatives they uh, in implemented and uh, what were the results let us discuss there were many let us discuss about very two important things one is diversity and inclusion policies mandatory to have a female employee in a team uh, say in the ratio of 4 is to 1 you have five people four are supposed to be in if four are men one it is mandatory uh, for a woman to be there and leadership development programs as lia told earlier only uh, 27% of women force are there and very very less people in the lead, in, in the you know board of directors and in leadership position how do we do that they they uh, they gave them a leadership training program specifically focusing towards women and they gave them a uh, nurturing uh, environment so they can promote themselves uh, into a leadership position what was the result of course it is a very nice ending result there was a very increasing uh, representation um, and more diverse colleagues and more great ideas uh, came into the company uh, there were a lot of employee feedback in terms of positive uh, uh, perceptions towards tata group and there was a very positive limelight thrown towards this particular company not only inside externally tata was recognized for their uh, you know, gender equality and diverse society so this shows how a very small action taken by a company has a huge impact so what i would uh, call uh, to action is that so income and wealth redistribution through various other programs which i told here making um, quality education education is available but quality uh, education and vocational close plays is a major role healthcare access to the most rural areas social inclusion infrastructure development these are these are existing in many developed countries but developing countries they are picking their pieces and they are forwarding but you as an individual what can you do when you are working to a 9 to 5 job first advocate if you are a manager please ensure that you have diversity and inclusion policy in your team and uh, uh, make uh, groups um, in within your organization and in case if your organization is going to have a dei committee participate in that take action and participate um, and being myself as a part of dei committee i do I do a lot of online coffee dates with uh, people uh, and specifically women we had uh, online uh, uh, job fair going on and so on and second educate yourself uh, how equality and bias and everything you know uh, plays a very major role as, as an individual perception and you as an individual facing so these are i would say the individual actions and overall actions thank you